Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's Ricky Cadden back again with another Real Life Stock Review for Real Life Trading Australia. It's the new decade, first stock review of 2020. Hope you guys are ready for it. This is going to be an absolute smashing decade for real life trading and I hope to see you guys all there to be a part of it. But let's dive right in, take a look at what happened in the last few weeks. We have had a fairly decent bullish run since the start of December and uh, over the Christmas period. Right now for the most part we are just consolidating sideways, however we did get some news that there was an Iranian missile attack on the US air base in Iraq. So we are actually gapping down after hours. We closed at 322.74 and as you can see here in the after hours session we are gapping down and right now bouncing off the 317 level which on the shorter term moving averages you can see is right here right between we're getting caught between the 20 and the 50. So I do think that if this gap is going to fade it will happen quite quickly um, but also this could potentially just continue to sell off and at least come back down to the 50 uh, EMA on the daily so keep that in mind guys SPY gapping down after hours uh, just look to trade what you see here's the E minis as you can see we have closed below the 20 EMA we did get a very nice little retest gap on the five minute which I just missed this morning as you can see here we did gap down and then we had this beautiful little retest into the 10 and then we did just continue to sell off um, so if you were trading futures this morning uh, here in Australia or just on this side of the world maybe even the the afternoon session over in the States then and you did get to catch that move then well done to you guys it was an absolute perler uh, but let's take a look at the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones, very cute little inside bearish candle. And once again, this one's also gapping down after hours, down to 281. So not a whole lot to see here, guys. Uh, trade what you see tomorrow at open. I will be looking for a couple of bearish plays. But if I do see the market is fading, I'll definitely look to play them bullish. And the Q's not doing a whole lot, just following this beautiful trend, almost creating new all-time highs again today. Uh, but for the most part looking bullish and having a small gap down as well tomorrow Apple we are getting a nice gap down on Apple tomorrow very creating a new all-time high today once again not surprised at all um, but we are actually gapping down to 292 it's going to be interesting to see how this one opens up as this is below this very bullish candle that we have right here it's actually below these last four days so I do expect this to probably either fade hard or potentially sell off back down to the 20 so keep an eye on that one same with Amazon guys Amazon beautiful push this one definitely will go back up to 2000 we are we have broken out of this very nice sideways movement breakout retest we are going higher we are getting a gap down I get that um, but once again we are still still most likely going to push higher got a request for square we did have this very beautiful little double bottom a lot of interesting gaps happening we had a nice little retest gap five days ago and then we had a gap down which faded and then we had another gap down which faded again and as you can see here beautiful doji looking candle great volume and we did gap above the 50 the 10 and the 20 EMA uh, tomorrow we will be gapping down but because we have been fading these gap downs the last you know three days four days I do expect us probably to fade as we are at a very nice support level here at around 61.50 uh, so keep your eyes peeled on Square to bounce very, very soon, guys. I have been saying this for quite some time. Um, but Square, great company, doing very great things. Let's take, uh, let's take a look at Foot Locker, another request. We are at another solid support level, as you can see here at 37.83. We are creating somewhat of a double bottom. Still haven't closed above the 50 EMA. I, I would look for a particular long if we do close above this particular neckline look for the retest and then look to go long off the retest on the dip um, so for Shannon you were looking at this one mate 
uh, there is your analysis on Foot Locker. Here's Shopify, not doing a whole lot, just creating some new all-time highs once again. Uh, there will be a short gap down tomorrow. Once again, trade what you see. Shopify does need a little bit of a pullback. I get that. Uh, if you take a look at the long-term moving averages, we are a little bit far away from the 100. And on the weekly chart, we are just in an absolute steam train of a trend. Wow. Shopify doing a very amazing things for a lot of real life traders we have got declining volume this is the only reason why i do expect us to have a little bit more of a pullback and but when we do guys when we do look to buy the dip guys shopify is a great company great revenue and great business model speaking of uh buying the dips beyond meat has had a huge dip as we did have a massive short squeeze everyone remembers this happening on beyond meat but as you can see we are back down at this particular support level right at their ipo date so did come back down to 73 and all of a sudden we did have a massive volume candle come in today on beyond meat uh, we are going to be gapping down slightly but if this is the start of something fresh again who knows we could get another run but be ready for it guys and just remember we have got the 100 simple moving average here at 111.56 so i do expect us to be a little bit of a pause on that one let's take a look at the aussie markets the all odds not a whole lot happening here we are getting fairly weak at this point as you can see here we are creating some lower highs and we still haven't broke the low of this particular trend line uh, but the, the the market is not pushing high well the, the market's not pushing higher very quickly so i did say that we probably would slowly trade sideways in this range for quite some time unless we broke this particular trend um, but we'll have to wait and see we could if we do break above 7,000 I do expect us to continue higher CBA a lot of people in long-term CBA shares I have been saying for quite some time this will probably trade completely sideways for about six months uh, we are still trading sideways and I have been mentioning to sell some out of the money covered calls between 83 and 84 uh, so if you have been doing that just for some extra income, then well done to you guys. CBA is just going completely sideways at the moment. But if you are looking to buy, uh, the 200 is not very far away. We have bounced off this particular level before. So look to buy the dip on CBA. Here's BHP, another one that I have been mentioning to sell some out of the money covered calls. Uh, between 4050 50 and 4150 these are very nice selling locations as you can see here guys we have had a fairly decent push we've gone up 15 percent just in the last three months uh, so we could deal we could go for a little bit more of a pullback if you are looking for a buying location probably look back on the weekly chart and around 35 would be a very great buying location. If you don't want to hold, that's on the, that's a long-term trend. If you're looking for a shorter-term trend, uh, anywhere between 30, 38 and 37, between these moving averages or at these moving averages would be a very nice dip buying location. Got a request for Avita, uh, Avita Medical uh, saying, if, is this a good buying location? Now, we have been bouncing off this 100 simple moving average for quite some time and it has it is in a very very healthy trend we do have declining volume as you can see here um, but what i would expect us to do is probably we i do expect us probably to close below this 100 level oh, sorry below this 100 level and then trade down to this particular level right here as this is a old old resistance and new support level so around six around 52 cents is a very nice buying location however i do expect us if we do trade sideways we'll probably trade sideways for a little bit longer and then we'll get a very nice bounce off the 200 simple moving average so on a technical standpoint a vita medical is coming into a buying location let's take a look at apt now i have mentioned this in the past this will go sideways for another six months probably like 
back here, you most likely will get a, a dip buying a dip buying opportunity off the 200 simple moving average on the daily chart. So keep that in mind, guys. APT, we all know what they do uh, here in Australia. Very, very great service to have in the retail industry as well. We'll take a look at gold. Gold finally making some new highs. Uh, let's just take a look at the hourly chart because this one realistically was a very nice little breakout. As you can see here, we did get some nice higher lows and we did have this very big ascending wedge that we had been stuck in for some for quite some time. As soon as we got the breakout right here, we had a boop little retest. There was your buying location back on the 23rd just before Christmas and you would have had a very very nice Christmas present and a very nice New Year's present if you did look to buy that particular dip. So all those in gold, I did say that eventually this would probably go higher um, and we are in a very nice trend at the moment. As you can see, we have had a nice little one, two, three, four. I say I would say this is a wave five on your Elliott wave and we could potentially go up to you know, 1760 at the highest, I think, before we get another decent size pullback. Um, but stay bullish on gold, guys. We are definitely, definitely going higher on this one. And last uh, commodity we'll look at is crude oil. Now, crude oil gapping, uh, sorry, off the news of the Iran missile attack, we are pushing higher, as you can see. Now, we did... We did last time we did have a missile attack was back here as you can see it kind of just faded straight away uh, so it will be very interesting to see how this one plays out uh, over the next couple over the next couple of days as we did get some selling pressure the last two days so keep your eyes on crude oil we are coming up into a resistance level so it makes a lot of sense for us to sell off um, but once again trade what you see guys. And but right now crude oil seems to be going higher. Last but not least, let's take a look at the Aussie dollar. Now this one is quite interesting. We did have a very nice breakout above the 200 simple moving average on a daily chart, and we are currently dipping. This does look like a buy the dip location. Uh, we are getting some nice little long lower shadows, and this was. For for the most part, guys, this the magnitude of this particular tri uh, this particular uh, breakout of the 200 is quite large, considering we haven't had one since 2018. Um, so I do expect the trend to either trade sideways or start to change direction here at this particular level. We have been trading sideways for. Uh, I'll just have a look here. We have been trading sideways for. 183 days so pretty much pretty much we've been trading sideways for, for you know for six months and right now we are slowly but surely creating some new higher higher lows and most likely we'll trade sideways and then slowly trade higher but that's all i got for you today guys on all these stocks and indices i hope you guys enjoyed this review if you would like me to review any stocks tickers Forex, pairs, you name it, you know where to catch me, leave it in the comment section below and I will be here on Thursday with another Real Life Stock Review just for you. Also, at the end of this month, we will be having a free week at Real Life Trading, so I will leave a link in the description below. Sign up, get involved, you do not want to miss this, it only happens twice a year. So sign up, get involved and we would love to have you guys a part of our community. Alright guys, thanks thanks for listening and remember love life, live life and trade. I'll see you all soon. Bye.